Don't worry, I just need even a slightly deeper sleep. I'm not going to do anything um, untoward to you. Okay. Lovely. And we got another nice little piece of loot. I love it. We are certainly raking in the gold and silver and other various lovely things. Well, uh, we're not a fire mage, so that is definitely not a direction we're headed in. Let's head back here and make our way upstairs. I'm quite positive there are more guards in this area, but hopefully... Most of them will be asleep. And that will be nice. Let's see. What other torches do we have? We've got a guard all the way down that hall. Uh, yeah, that works. No. No one's here at all. Don't bother yourself with it. <laughs> it's all okay. No one's actually here. Not even you are here. It's all good. Alright, well, now we just need to get close enough to take this guy down. And I believe we have um, almost completely emptied this place of guards. No camera, I'm not here. Even the guard can't tell I'm here. There we are. Nope, no one's here. Hush now. It's sleepy time. Hello, guard. How you doing today? Enjoying your nice little stroll through this bedroom here? Well, now you can enjoy a nice little sleep instead. Lovely. And some nice broadhead arrows to go with everything I've found. And here, we have Cavador's diary. Lovely. Let's see what uh, Cavador has to say. Ah, wondrous discovery. For the chance to learn here, I would excuse Karis far more than he hath done. Mayhap I spoke too soon. Of all the wonders our ancestors hath left for our discovery, Karis is fascinated by only the smallest portion. Yet, without his aid, twould be not to explore. Still more rust gas hath arrived. I sent it as well to the lava, for I cannot convince Karis how little use we have for it. If only the Cetus Amicus could carry more digging supplies instead. Site 2 goes best. It hath yielded up what Karis wanted. And now we explore its greater mysteries. How beloved of the builder these ancestors must have been, for surely he did show them all matter of wonders that we can barely comprehend. Time will be short for my side projects, at least until the next shipment. Even then I fear more unreasonable demands, until there is barely time to sleep, lest we fail to meet Karis's schedule. 
Well, it does not sound like, um... Karis is all that nice to these people, but we've actually gotten um, a couple of extra objectives that you may have uh, heard while we were walking through here. And one was getting Cavador's diary, could be useful. And there's one way to guarantee the mechanists never find their drill, and that would be to take it. Lovely. So, um, I believe those two extra objectives are all that's left for hidden objectives. I don't think that there's um, anything else in this particular level. I could be incorrect, but I'm pretty sure I'm uh, on target there. All right, we'll just head on back through here. I believe we've um, scoured this area as much as we're going to need to. I wish there was uh, some books or scrolls to read in this room, but nothing really. All right. Double check to make sure there's nothing else uh, around here. But I'm pretty sure we picked it all up. Yeah. All right, well, we're good to go. And off we go. No cameras going to mess with me. They just don't have the capability to do so. Alright, so we still need to find some more patrols. Um, I think I'll go to Site 2 next. Site 2 is another uh, difficult site to deal with, considering there's a whole lot of people walking around it. Where is this guy off to? Oh, he has some loot. He is an important factor. Uh, that's not a he at all. She. She is an important factor in uh, getting what I want. Just drop you off in this corner here, and I'm sure you'll be happily safe in it. Okay, you know what? We'll drop you in this corner then. There. Much better. She did not want to go into that corner at all. Alright, so now I need to make my way towards Site 2, which is down here. So you can see there's some cameras there, and you might have heard a guard walking around over that way. So we don't want to be headed in that direction. We will, however, take out some lamps in this direction. I suppose they're more... I don't even know what those would be. Oil lamps? Oil flasks? Um, if you haven't found the Master Builder's scriptures for any reason, you can actually find a second copy right here. But we've already got it, so there is no particular reason for us to take it there. Other than just showing that it's there. So you can kind of look down in here. There's a cannon there. There's a couple cameras down here, and I believe there's another cannon somewhere down there. But we do not really need to go into that room to uh, further our objectives. <laughs> Lovely. And a nice little flash bomb. I'd like to try and hold on to that. We've been using quite a few of those. And this is the only piece of loot in Site 2. You can uh, technically go down there and get a few other things. I believe there's a flash mine, a flash bomb, perhaps. But uh, actual loot down there, nothing. This is a pretty empty area. I might have the possibility of taking down two of those people 
if I was to send a gas arrow down there, but uh, at least one of them would come up here. And that camera would go off, for sure. So we're actually just going to uh, head back on out of here. No reason for me to stick around. And just be as sneaky as possible with our movements. Take this baby out. Alright, and uh, welcome to Site 4 over here, at least the beginning of it. Site 4 is the only one that has this track running through it, so it's a pretty useless track. Take out a few more lights here. And see what we've got going on in these nice little places. Not much currently. Oh, getting a little bit stuck there. There's a light up there. Oh, there it is. I thought it was along the way, but it happens to be right there. Now we've got a nice little dark hallway in case we need huh? it. Is that thee? And we definitely are going to need it. In truth, I know not what it was. Oh, you know, just a shadow walking around silently. I think she might actually be leaving. Yes. The master. Uh. Okay. That's cool. Grab Archaeologist this nice rug. sounds so much more dignified than the thief. Doesn't it, Garrett? It does sound a lot more dignified to me. So. Here we'll find one of the only secrets, well, the only secret in this entire level, which is this nice little lever here. Which will open this buddy here. And we get a flash mine, which I have never really been uh, good at using, so it's highly unlikely I'll do anything amazing with it. Now, we could go over here and take out guards and so forth, but it's honestly not that necessary considering there isn't really anything of interest over here. There might be a little bit of gear and such, but uh, nothing of any uh, particular interest. I suppose I can try to come over here, but... <laughs> Oops. By the builder, thou art oh. oh my. That was unexpected. And that's one of the reasons why it's not good to go over somewhere where you don't need to go. I shall spot thee soon. He's fast. Now I've lost him. Not that fast. Speed my bolt to thee really not that fast. In fact, I stayed here quite in the open. Well, that was my bad. I should have probably just left this place well alone. In fact, I think I'll peg this guy with a gas arrow for the hell of it. Why not? All right, so it takes out a couple of the guards around here. There is another guard down here, um, as well as there are two cameras down here. Uh, there is some gear, which might be worth it considering I did take some damage. You know, might as well. Where the hell is that guy, though? I could probably hit him with a flash mine. Let's see here. Where is that flash mine at? There it is. Probably take him down with this flash mine and uh, at least get some use out of it. I don't want to get hit by the cameras. Where is that guy? 
I heard him. Oh, there he is. Come on, buddy. Where are you coming from? This side? Okay. Just drop this right there. Uh, that's a little late. That's a little late. That's okay. We'll uh, play Ring Around the Rosie with him. I figure I might as well just take this guy out. Well, you now. I think we're done with you. I'm surprised he couldn't recognize a trap as I was running around there. That's ridiculous. Okay. So that is a very, very stupid way to do that. But uh, it gets done what needs to be done. And we are now going to pummel some cameras with some arrows. Wait for it to turn a bit so it's in the sight. And done it goes. Where the hell did that barrel come from? Was that there? It must have been. Or, I don't know. I have no idea. That just didn't look like it was there before. And done with that. Alright, let's grab some nice little goodies over here. Gas arrow to take over the one that we, uh used up earlier and I believe other than uh, some water arrows this place is cleared out of uh, anything good yeah I'm not seeing anything alright let's grab those water arrows then which are right here and there's actually a couple sitting on top of each other in that one location Okay, so, definitely not stealthy, but it works for me, I guess. <laughs> yeah, alright, anyway, now I need to head on over to Site 7. And Site 7, as you may or may not recall, is place that is full of people everywhere. This is probably not the way I want to go. No, it is not. I'm going to need to circle back around. There's a specific way that I like to go for Site 7, um, mainly because when I go that way, I'm able to... Uh, to use a noisemaker arrow to take down everyone very, very swiftly. Um, I don't like noisemaker arrows, in all honesty. They're not my thing, but sometimes they, uh, they're quite useful. I don't believe there's much of anything around here. There might be a little bit of gear, but other than that, this place is uh, pretty empty. Sounds like we might have... I guess it's just people walking around Site 7, but this is the uh, the area I like to be at. I'll deal with that in a moment. I'd first like to check over here, make sure there's um, nothing of any interest. There's actually some fire arrows in here. However, if you go in there, it's quite easy to get stuck. You know, I'm going to uh, do a quick save here. And... So, it's easy to get in here usually, but much harder to get out. Alright, there's that. And getting out, well, okay. That actually worked out very easily. So, I usually don't go in there just because I tend to get stuck. And I don't want to be stuck. There's nothing up here. Take down that, and uh, I think we're pretty much good for items at the moment. Now I'm going to head back over to my uh, my noise section and hope that things go well. All right. 
Now, with any luck, I usually send it to that corner right there, and that tends to um, grab everyone's attention. There's about four guards down here which makes this a very dangerous place, not to mention the fact that there's two cameras that are openly visible and a third camera way back there. I don't know if you can really see it. You can kind of zoom in over there. Yeah, you can kind of see it in the distance over there. But um, this place is very well guarded and it has lots and lots of goodies. It looks like someone's already out looking for some reason. I have no idea why. I don't know what's going on with him, but we can see uh, about three of the guards right now. Let's go ahead and pull this noisemaker out and see what we can do. Mine instructions are clear. None shall pass. Okay, we're getting three of them. That guy over there is not coming. We might have to deal with him separately. And that is one of the best noisemaker arrows I will ever use. You can count on it. 